predictable comment for this Kanye album cycle. Of course, we were going to get responses from people that are essentially like, well, what does it matter if the music is good? Can't you just separate the art from the artist? Which in some instances, given who it is and what's being said and maybe the time period in which it was said, sure, you absolutely can. And look, at the end of the day, regardless of what my opinion on all this is, uh, you're all free to listen to whatever the hell you want. But it's kind of difficult to separate the artist from the art or maybe separate the messaging or the problematic politics from the art when the artist is literally putting them into the art. The artist himself is making it impossible to separate, to do the separation because it's it's inside of it, which means if there's any separation going on past this point, it has to be done by you in your own head, meaning you have to listen to Kanye's music while ignoring the things that he's saying to it or the bullshit he's attaching to it, which at that point, what kind of music fan are you when you're not actually listening to or paying attention to the music you're consuming? At that point, are you really a fan if in order to enjoy Kanye's music, you have to ignore everything around it and basically put whatever's being said in it in the back of your mind and treat it essentially like wallpaper? If that's fandom, honestly, it's the worst kind.